Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun Vora to master the fundamentals. Friends, as we are making progress on our journey, I got a few questions related to an important topic which is reasonable versus absolute assurance. We keep on hearing these terms in our in our assessments, compliance, audit or security assessment. So it's important to understand what do we really mean by reasonable and absolute assurance in the context of a risk audit or compliance world. So today I'll cover this topic in a separate video as it may help all of you. Now when you talk about risk audit or compliance assessments like SOX, the objective of the assessment is always to provide reasonable assurance and not absolute assurance. You'll keep on hearing this um, at different stages of the of the assessment. What do we mean by reasonable abs absolute assurance? First, let's get to the dictionary meaning of reasonable. Now, reasonable means fair, while absolute means complete or perfect. When we combine these with the word assurance, reasonable assurance is a high level of assurance, but there is still a remote possibility that something might be incorrect somewhere to some degree without being detected so and that's what i've listed here as well it's a high level of assurance but there is some likelihood of something remaining undetected so that likelihood is not zero when we talk about absolute assurance as the name suggests it's complete or perfect right so the likelihood of something being incorrect and not getting detected is zero so we have a very high degree of assurance in absolute assurance and then the likelihood of something remaining undetected is zero that's the reason the word absolute is used as we all know the risk audit or compliance assessments mostly follow a sampling approach and do not cover 100% of the landscape. So the intent for of these assessments is to only provide reasonable assurance. Though the risk of something big being incorrect and not getting detected is extremely low. So reasonable assurance doesn't mean that something big is being left out. It's just about we are not covering 100% of the ground. That's the reason we use the word reasonable assurance. And technically there is also a caveat here when you talk about absolute assurance absolute assurance can only be achieved through automated testing across each and everything without leaving anything which again is is more like a hypothetical concept it's easier said than done so therefore you'll rarely find assessments which can provide absolute assurance most of the assessments because they will have some sort of manual component will always provide reasonable assurance just a quick recap we were talking about absolute versus reasonable assurance what is meant by these terms reasonable assurance as you can see here on the on the board it provides high level of assurance with the likelihood of something remaining undetected or something big being left out is not zero absolute assurance is a very high degree of assurance as the name suggests and the likelihood of something remaining undetected is zero because that will provide you absolute assurance or complete assurance i hope the video helped to understand the terms reasonable and absolute assurance if you have more such questions feel free to reach out to the youtube comment section and i'll be happy to create a separate video if required please use the hashtag it with varun vora when reaching out to help spread the word thanks and keep watching see you next time till then bye